I don't know about looking like a fucking poodle, but we're doing it. All right, we're doing it. I look like one of those dogs. You know the dogs I'm talking about. One of those. That's what I look like with his hairstyle. If you think me playing with my hair is annoying in every other video I've ever uploaded, I think today's gonna beat it because I just don't even know. I don't even know about this bitch, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just gonna be fluffing this shit all day, all day long. Throughout this entire video, I'm just gonna be doing this. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I felt like filming a video today, okay? I woke up and I thought, today's the day, bitch. I'm gonna turn the camera on and we're gonna have a fucking chat. We're gonna talk about some of the books I've recently read that have rocked my fucking socks off. The books that I could not stop thinking about once I finished them. The ones that I would daydream about while washing my hair in the shower. You know those books. Every now and then you read one of those books that just doesn't leave you and it stays with you. It becomes a part of your soul, your personality. You just embrace this book like it's an extra limb. An extra limb that you can't live without. Yes, we're gonna talk about those books. I used to find these types of books all the fucking time. Now I don't. But when I do find them, I'm going to bring them at you, okay? Hopefully you haven't read some of these. If you have read some of these, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you haven't read these, you should totally fucking read them because I trust me and you should trust me too. Now in this video, we've got some dark romance, spicy romance. We also have some thrillers that rocked my fucking world, bitch. I mean like... I don't know what I'm doing. What is this meant to represent? Some of these thrillers felt like an earthquake, bitch, when I was reading them. I had to hold on. I wasn't steady, bitch. It was a ride, a ride of a lifetime, and I, I didn't want to hop off. But I did hop off because I finished the book, and now we're here, and we're going to talk about it. Without further ado, bitch, I hope you enjoy today's video. The first book I'm going to talk about is a spicy read, bitch, and I love a good spicy read. To be honest, I used to be addicted to the spice. Every sex scene gave me the tingles, every little tender kiss or, you know, raw dogging sent me wild. But now it doesn't. And for a spicy scene to get me going, and you know what I mean by saying get me going. The vagina flutters. We flutter, bitch, when we read a good scene. To find one is hard because I feel like I've kind of desensitized myself to all these sex scenes. This book did it for me, though. Give Me More by Sarah Kate. Now, I believe this is the third book in the salacious club series. I read Praise and then I jumped straight to this one. And this one, I ate. Like, I literally swallowed it whole. I sat down and said, dear world, do not disturb. I was obsessed with this book. I could not stop. It gave me everything and fucking more. Like, it was just like a spicy, uh, emotional too. We love a little bit of emotion with the spice. Time. This book also made me realize I have a thing for polyamorous relationships. Not reverse harems, like why twos. No, 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 no. When there's one girl and she's got two boyfriends, bitch. Oh. 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 This is a three-way relationship pretty much, okay? So it's about this girl and this guy who are married. They're married. They've been married for years and they're madly, madly in love. And the husband has this best friend that is just always in their life. Okay, he attends all the special moments. He's their best friend, not just the husband's best friend anymore. They're on this work trip to do some research in some other sex clubs to see if they can find anything and bring it back to their sex club and kind of introduce it to what they've got going on. So they go on this trip and they're experiencing all these things and the husband ends up realizing, oh my God, seeing my best friend with my wife turns me the fuck on. I wonder if they'd be down for it. <laughs> what the fuck? So that's what happens. They end up banging all three of them. First off, it's just the wife and the and the best friend, and then he gets involved, and things start happening. Emotions are heightened, feelings develop. It's a whole ordeal, but it was so fucking good. Like, oh my god, a by awakening? Yes, bitch. Give it to me now. I'm very fluid with my sexuality and I love that shit, bitch. Give me it all. No, well, not me right now, but like when I'm reading it, give me all of it. You know what I mean? It was just a wicked, brilliant time and I really enjoyed this series from Sarah Kate. It does give off Fiona Cole's Voyeur series though. I will say that. They're very similar. So if you've read the Voyeur series, you're going to like this. Or if you have read all of the Salacious Club, you will love the Voyeur series. I enjoy them both. The Voyeur series is like one of my favorite series of all time. It always will be. Nothing can replace it, but this is very close and I really have enjoyed what I've read from it. I'm just going to shout this book out again because I did talk about it two videos or three videos ago 
Torment by Dylan Page. So many of you have read this since I suggested it and you were heartbrokenly obsessed with it. It is such a dark romance. It, it's a stepbrother relationship set in like the MC club world. It's borderline fucking insane. It's borderline abuse, bitch. And it's tragic. It's not like a happy ever after type of story. And I loved it. And I just need to put it in this because this stayed with me and still has stayed with me since I read it. It's just phenomenal. And I just love it so much. I have read the entire series because it is a series. This duet is just about one couple and then the other books are about other characters from this world. Uh, they're not as good as this duet was, but they're still pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. They're still great, but this one just icing on the cake, you know what I mean? Like top tier shit. Shay and Mina I will carry in my heart for the rest of my fucking life and it's so rare to read a romance and have two characters like that stick with you and know that there's no other character out there that are like them. Just a unique story that I think everyone should read, especially if you love dark romance. If you have triggers to certain things, I don't suggest you fucking reading that. But if you do get triggered by certain things and you're on this channel, wrong channel, bitch, move past. Because I don't really talk about triggers much. I just know this one would be a hard story for many to digest. So unless you're used to reading dark romances on this level, I wouldn't advise that you read it, okay? But if you don't care about triggers and shit, Nose dive into this bitch, you will not regret it. After I read Torment, I was like, oh my God, like I need a dark romance. That just set my soul on fire. So I kind of went through all these books that I had written down in my notes in my phone from like years ago, and I chose Untouchable, right? I've had this on my TBR since like 2020, like early 2020. And it's just sat there unread because I'm not particularly into bully romances. So I thought, until I read this, oh my god, I know tons of people would have already read this. I know that. I'm late to the bandwagon, but that's just who I am. I don't read books just because everyone else is reading them. I'll read them in my own time. And I'm so glad that I did because this was exactly what I needed after I read Torment. It was so amazing. I can't get over it. Carter is Oh my god. It's hard for me to find a new book boyfriend. It's hard for me to actually fall for a hero because they all can sound so similar nowadays, all right? Same type of dialogue, same type of kind of personality. They all kind of blend and intertwine together. We understand now that we all have this vision of what we want from our heroes, you know what I mean? And a lot of authors are producing that. Carter, though, is next level. This again has major trigger warnings. So see clear when it says it's a dark bully romance, it's a dark bully romance. It is set in high school, which usually I don't like, but I did like this. Uh, the opening scene is a sexual assault scene between the hero and the heroine. So I know a lot of people can't stomach that. And to be completely real with you, I was like that too. I read the first kind of scene in this book and I thought, absolutely not. No fucking way they're going to spin this into a fucking romance. But boy, did they do that. They span this shit in to one of the most epic romances I've ever fucking read. I loved this. It's just a stock standard kind of bully romance, but the best of the best. I read a couple of bully romances after this and nothing can compete. We've got this girl, this guy, she's unpopular. Um, she gets bullied a lot and she gets cornered by these three jocks. One of them is Carter, like the head honcho, and they're being brutal to her, all right? They are sexually assaulting her and um, kind of punishing her for uh, dobbing on them because they did something bad to her and she actually told on them and then they got in a lot of trouble and there's all this shit going down. And Carter realizes when he's bullying the heroine that he's turned on by her specifically being like submissive to him. So then he kind of ends up begging her to date him, even though he's been so horrible to her. And the heroine is just so fascinated with Carter's behavior. And instead of just blocking him out, she's kind of into it as well. So she's, she's opening her eyes, her mind, her heart to Carter. Oh my God, bitch, read this, please, please. I wouldn't usually never justify a book like this, but this is just everything and more. Call me sick and twisted, bitch. That's where I belong. I love it so much. 
Five stars, this was absolutely fucking brilliant. Now for the thrillers, honey. I love a good thriller. And recently I have realized that when I'm not coping with motherhood, right? When I'm having a bad week, because we all have bad weeks where, you know, baby's not sleeping, baby's unwell, teething, everything's a hot mess. You're running off no sleep. The last thing I can and want to do is sit down and read a romance. It just doesn't satisfy me. But I have realized that a thriller when I'm feeling like that is a game, bitch. Like it is what I need. So I picked up this the other night two nights ago actually and I saw one woman on TikTok now usually I'm very skeptical with book talk romances when they're recommended right thrillers though that's different I feel like every time I've read a thriller from book talk I've actually enjoyed it whereas when I've read a romance from book talk I haven't so I saw this don't let her stay and this one girl was talking about how you know incredible this was and blah 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 so I picked it up and fuck me up I read it in 24 hours it was a one sitting read that's so fucking rare for me it was so good I could not stop it was like triggering me I wanted to fucking yeet myself off a fucking cliff because I could not handle how stressed I was the entire time I was reading it and that's what I want to feel when I'm reading a thriller I don't want to be just like skimming and not caring what I'm reading I want to be gutted from the inside I want my core to be shaken bitch because I I, I want that adrenaline that you get when you read a thriller and this gave it to me so it's about this girl who has recently had a baby which was also quite triggering for me and her baby's four months old and she's doing this stay at home mum gig she's in the trenches of postpartum she's reminiscing on her life before having a baby her whole world just revolves around this this little being that she loves so much but it's fucking hard and she's exhausted uh, so yeah, she gets a little bit forgetful and things like this and, you know, she's she's not putting the energy into her appearance. She's gained weight, you know, she hasn't lost the baby weight because, she, you know, she's busy. She's not in a rush to lose the baby weight. And her husband has a daughter from a previous marriage and she comes and lives with them. And it is actually fucking cooked, bitch. It is cooked. I was just like, what the fuck is this daughter doing? Mad absolute chaos madness this daughter is being horrible to the stepmom but then in front of her father she's acting completely different and like accusing the stepmom of doing things that she's not doing her father is believing her over his wife and then all these secrets from their past come out and the stepmom ends up learning about what happened to his previous wife what happened to the daughter why is she the way she is who is her husband Bitch, read this right now if you're a thriller girl. It was definitely like housemaid Verity vibes, but better. Honestly, I feel like this was better than those two books. And that's hard for me to say because Verity is one of my favorite books of all time. And the housemaid had me in a fucking chokehold, but this was great. Like, mm, five fucking stars, 10 bitch if I could give them. I have seen this author on TikTok, right? Again, I don't really take on TikTok fucking recommendations, but She's a thriller writer and a couple of her kind of little TikToks she's made to promote her books caught my eye. And I saw this one, Saving Noah, and I wrote it down. And then after I read Don't Let Her Stay, it came up in my Kindle recommendations. I literally picked this up yesterday and finished it last night. This wasn't the type of thriller that had me on the edge of my seat and I didn't know what was going to happen and I was like trying to figure it out. It was just more like psychologically fucked in the best way possible. So Saving Noah is about this mother who unfortunately has a son who's committed violent acts on children. He's come out of this rehabilitation center that's kind of like a juvenile detention center because he was charged with touching children. And he is now a sex offender. So when he comes out, his mum is trying to save him from being this predator and trying to convince the world that like he's not that bad and he can get better it was a difficult read beyond belief if you do have any triggers to do with this type of shit then i wouldn't read this book but it was so good i was sobbing you guys like i was crying my fucking eyes out i never cry with books i never fucking cry and i just envisioned myself as a mom in this situation i just 
It fucking broke my heart, but it was so fucking good. There was a twist that I did not see coming, and now I'm so intrigued by this author, okay? Because her writing style was fucking wicked. It was really fast paced. Like the pacing of the book was just like really good. I just, I just loved this book so, so much, even though it was a tragic book. It evoked so many uh, emotions, and I fucking love when I feel, bitch. I'm a, I'm a feeler. I love. Feeling. Give me all the feels, you know, give them all to me and this one did it. I did post on TikTok and Instagram about this too and a couple of people had already DM'd me after I posted my Instagram story and they said they felt exactly the same. So trust us, trust me, if you're looking for a book that's going to rock your fucking world, uh, that's not a romance and has like a psychological thriller aspect to it, this is so fucking good and I can't wait to read more of her books. I'm already looking for the next one. There are the books that I have read recently that I have fucking loved with my entire being. There were other books that I read that I really enjoyed, but they just went on this level. I will talk about those books very soon though. I already know that these books that I talked about today will be in like my top favorites of the year by the end of the year. Like that's how good they are. But I need to talk to you about them now. I need you guys to go and read them now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up, subscribe before leaving. Let me know what the fuck's up. How are you? Comment section is down below if you want to have a chat. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.